Hi, I'm Liz, an ecology major from Middletown, Pennsylvania, here to welcome you to the new science building here at Susquehanna University. This beautiful building was dedicated at the homecoming reunion of 2010. Since some of you couldn't be here with us, my friends and I wanted to welcome you and bring it to you. Why don't you come inside? This spacious atrium greets visitors as they enter the building. As soon as you walk into this awesome entryway, you know this is a pretty cool place to study science. It has tons of features to facilitate scientific study, and the building itself is a pretty great example of sustainability and resource management. This building is well on its way to earning the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED Silver Certification. And what that mouthful means is that there are a lot of green building features around. Let me give you a few examples. Windows on the interior and exterior of the building maximize natural light. Low flow exhaust hoods in labs and a lighting control system that automatically turns lights on and off also conserve energy. And that's just the beginning. At least 33 different green features and practices had to be fulfilled in order for the building to be considered for LEED Silver certification. And now I'm going to turn it over to Aaron on the first floor so he can show you the home of the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. Hi, I'm Aaron, an Earth and Environmental Science major from Pottstown, PA. Here on the first floor, we study geology, hydrology, and meteorology. Down here on ground level, there's lots of cool features, including the recognition walls, which give thanks to our generous donors. Thanks, donors. One of the most popular spots in the building is the periodic table, or Ellie's as we like to call it, a happening little bistro that serves locally grown food. My personal favorite is the chicken pepper jack. On warm sunny days, students take advantage of the outdoor seating, where the periodic table of elements is built right into the patio. Down the hall from Ellie's is the student lounge. It's located next to the faculty offices, so we can interact more closely with our professors. Speaking of classes, this building has some awesome spaces for research and learning. For instance, here on the first floor, we have X-ray instrumentation and polarizing microscopes that are used to identify the composition of rock, soil, and minerals. This hydrology lab allows us to study particle transport through different porous mediums. We also have an air and water analysis lab to analyze fluids and gases. A seminar room on this floor can be used as a single class space for large groups or divided into smaller spaces for meetings and smaller class gatherings. Now here's Chelsea to tell you more about the building's classrooms and labs. Hi, I'm Chelsea, a biology major from Lake Hill, Pennsylvania. Let me show you around the biology department. Here on the second floor, you'll find great examples of the building's teaching and learning spaces. Home to the Department of Biology, this floor also accommodates students of the Ecology and Healthcare Studies programs. AV-equipped smart classrooms have lecture and lab space in the same room. This allows students to study in a workshop style setting where they can move easily between lecture and lab work during a single class period. Faculty integrate hands-on activities into class time to better illustrate the concepts and principles they are teaching us. The design of these classrooms promotes high-level interaction and engagement between students and faculty. I really enjoy having my own personal research space. I used to have to work on top of garbage bags, but now I have my own specialized dissection table where I can perform my research. An Eco Alcove will soon be installed here in the atrium near the main entrance. This kiosk will showcase the building's green features. Here we are at the rooftop greenhouse, located across the street from the previous science building. This is one of the coolest places on campus where we grow the plants used in research. Now off to Davon, who will show you the third floor. Hi, I'm Davon, a chemistry major from Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and here in the Department of Chemistry, the labs are designed by function to serve the different disciplines of chemistry. For example, the laser spectroscopy suite is its own facility, and environmental chemistry has its own space, as does biochemistry. The instrument and nuclear magnetic resonance labs are centrally located for easy access. The new workshop classrooms join wet and dry chemistry areas with great audio and visual communication capabilities. A single instructor can assist students conducting research in the wet areas, while other students are analyzing data or designing the next experiment. As you can see, collaborative research, both peer-to-peer -peer and with faculty, is our top priority here at Susquehanna, and the new science building is specifically designed to support this type of work. I'm currently doing green chemistry with Dr. Renuka in my own personal research space. I love having my own hood. 
We're lucky because being able to do scientific research as an undergraduate is rare at a lot of institutions. But here at Susquehanna, we learn science by doing science, and this new building allows us to do that even better. My friends and I hope you enjoyed your tour of the new science building, and we hope you'll come see it for yourself soon, because not even a video can do justice to this great facility and the awesome research that's being done here.